What is up guys, it is DMG here and today is going to be a very short video, just another final update for our project team of the year. So as of right now, we are only going to get one, maybe two or three more packs because uh, as you can see from the amount of coins that I have, I am very broke. I have no players in the club that will actually sell for anything, uh, at least for a reasonable amount. I could potentially sell a lot of them, like at least a few players just for a few thousand it could potentially add up which is what i might do um but you know we'll see we'll, we'll see about that but yeah as you can tell i obviously just don't have a lot of coins so the only packs that we could reasonably get are the mega pack and the prime gold players pack and even those are maybe a little bit unreachable just because within the next few days is when all of the team of the years are going to be in packs but then one of the uh one of the packs that we will definitely get is going to be this rivals mastery where we have to score in 200 rivals matches we only have to score in six more, right? And we get an ultimate pack. So that one we're definitely going to get at some point before all of the team of the years are in packs. So with the final count then, that means that with this ultimate pack that we say we are going to get, that, that is added into this, we have... 268 total packs, 215,650 FIFA points worth of packs, 11,130,000 coins worth of packs, and then nearly $1,800. Now, this is just before. This is before we actually open the packs for Team of the Year. So what they've done in previous years is they've added upgrade leagues. So what that means is that you put in certain players that you don't want from a particular league, um, and then you happen to get like a premium gold pack uh, where it only gives you players from that specific league or you get a premium gold players pack where you only get again players from that specific league so uh, obviously with this amount of you know with, with this huge amount of packs we're obviously going to be able to craft those packs and so um, again this is the amount that we have before opening and then i'm going to keep track of the amount of packs that we are crafting during our team of the year pack opening because i'm sure that we're going to get a fair amount of packs crafted and again that's just going to add to this and again i'll keep it separate beforehand just so we can kind of see how many packs we're able to craft and then at the very end once we're completely 100 percent done i'll add up the totals from before and during so then we can see the amount of packs we did open total and then same for you know fifa points total coins and then total monetary value as well now this pack opening is going to be on twitch it is not going to be on youtube it is going to be on twitch i'll link it in the description down below and i'll also put it on the screen right now so keep an eye out for that that is either going to be on wednesday or thursday we'll see because what they've done this year is put out the attackers and the midfielders for two days which most likely means the defenders are going to be out for two days but if not then they're only going to be out for one day so that means the uh, entire team of the year is either going to be out on Wednesday or it's going to be out on Thursday. And when that happens, that is when we are going to be doing our team of the year pack opening. And again, it is going to be 100% on Twitch. So again, make sure to check that out in the description down below. So again, a fairly short video, but again, just updating you guys on the final project team of the year update. Again, that's like nearly 270 packs, nearly $1,800 worth of packs. I'm very, very excited for it. And genuinely, this, you know, the, the pack opening day could not come any sooner. Like I said, though, that is going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been DMG. Peace.